Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David and I'm your host for today's episode. Today's episode we're going to deal with annotation and scaling in larger drawings and also in smaller drawings. We're going to touch on that briefly. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us. It really helps us get out there. We've really been growing in the past few weeks and we really appreciate those who have helped us. Uh, this video is in response to a comment that someone made on our text uh, video that we released uh, not too long ago. And it's it's kind of to, you know, if you need help or, I mean, if you're the one listening who made the comment, thank you so much for that. Um, we want people to give us suggestions. So if you have any suggestions or you need any help, again, please leave a comment and we'll do what we can to get you a video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your drawing. Now, I'm going to open up my floor plan one drawing and I'm just going to go over some basics of how annotation works and a few things. So what you're going to notice here in this drawing is I've got my scales, everything's set up properly and my scale is in annotation. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down here and you're going to see this button called Add Scales to Annotative Objects when the annotation scale changes. It's a very important button that we're going to look at in a bit. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, you know, if you do click it, you'll notice nothing changes. But you'll also see, but when I, if I go here and I s click my scale, let's say I click 1 to 4, you're going to notice everything gets bigger. So keep this in mind when you're using this tool and keep this in mind when you're doing AutoCAD in general. So come down here, if we go again one to one, it's gonna shrink and if we go back to one to two, it's gonna grow. So this button right here is very important when you wanna change this. This works for text, this works for anything in your drawing that you want because it, it's, it's relative to the scale you're using in the drawing in model space. So I'm gonna show you how this works in a large scale scenario. So I'm just going to go up here, and I made a large, weird-looking property just so I could show you how this works. So you're going to notice here that I have this property. You know, I've got, I've got a little dimension line here, but you can't see it at all. And you know, I've got, I've got text up here, new property line proposal. It's up there, and it's really small, and you can't read it. And and we're just going to go over this. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn that button off for now, just so I can show you you know, how this is going to work. So if I turn that button off and I can change my scale, I'm going to do the custom scales, which is the ones that I was given in the comment. Um, let's do one to a thousand. You're going to notice everything pops right back. Um, so it's interesting to note that that occurs. Um, you're also going to have to, you, you can also change this for, you know, you can go to one to one to 25, but you're going to notice it didn't really change much. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to one to a thousand. And then we're going to click that button that I told you to shut off. Let's click one to 2500. And you're going to notice it grows substantially. Um, so whenever you're adjusting text and you need to make it bigger, you can do that. So just, again, if you don't have this clicked, sometimes it will change, sometimes it won't. I've been playing around with this all morning to try and figure out you know, how to get it to work properly. But uh, I've noticed that sometimes it'll change back and sometimes it won't. So if I click that off and I click this and I go back to 1000, it will change. If I click it and then I go to 1 to 1, it will change. If I go back to 1 to 25, it will change again. So you can see that I don't have it on, um, but uh, it's, it's, still, it's still working. But if you want to make it change and you want it to adjust all the time, then I would recommend leaving that on so that you're, you can get it, get it working better. So we're just going to leave it at 1 to 1,000 just for this sake. And you're going to notice that this works for both the annotative dimension scale and also the annotative text scale. So one thing to note is this stuff is only going to change if you're using annotation. It's not going to change if you're using a custom text style that is not annotative. So if I go here and I have my example one, if I click standard and I get out and I click text, I make a new text box, it's going to say hello world. I click that, I get out, you want to save your text changes, yep, you can't even see that I've got something in there. And like I have to zoom all the way in in order to see it. So if you notice here, if I do this, if I adjust my scale, it's not going to change. So what I just wrote, the hello world, is not changing, and that's because it's an it's not annotated. You have to have your text scale or your dimension scale as annotative in order for that to work. It's imperative that it is annotated. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you is if you want if you don't want to do that, there's another way you can adjust the sizes. Is if you click on your your um, your text or your dimension or whatever, and you right click prop, go right click, go to properties. This box will show up like we went over last time, and you can see you can adjust everything from in here. Now, if you notice, it says annotative scale. You cannot change this from here. 
um, you know, it'll, if you click that, it'll bring a pop-up, and this is a list of what you can change it to and what it's been. Um, so, yeah, so let me go back for a sec. If you want to change it from here, to change it is you go to the annotated where it says 1 to 1,000, you click the little box, and it will show you the different scales you have used with that text. So I've used 1 to 1, I've used 1 to 2, I've used 1 to 4, I've used 1 to 1,000, and I've used 1 to 2,500. So those are the ones that show up. You can also add different scales. So from here you can add scales to the object. So you can do 1 to 100, 1 to 50, 2 to 1, 4 to 8, 8 to 1, or 4 to 1, sorry, 8 to 1, you know, and it goes on and on. You can, you can add scales to it. I'm just going to keep it basic. I'm going to keep it at what I had it. I'm going to keep it at 1 to 1,000. But that's just how you can change it from there. You can also change if it's annotative or not. This only works for this text and the one you select. You, you can make it annotative. If, if you have, like, if my Hello World, for instance, I can go in there, I can change the property, and I can make it annotative. And then it should work with what I was just showing you what to do. Um, so the next thing you want to do is if you want to change the height, is if you, you come down here, you can see I have it set to 6 inches. I can go, I can change it to 11 inches. I press enter, it gets bigger. So one thing I would like to note is I don't know why it's getting big like this when I'm when I'm uh, playing around with this or when I'm editing it. I don't know why that's the case. That just started happening when I started recording. I couldn't get it to change, but it's not changing my output or anything. So I decided to just leave it, just ignore that. If that's happening to you as well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. You can edit it, exit it, and it'll be fine. If it isn't happening to you, that's excellent because it wasn't happening to me for the first two times I tried this. But I digress. Anyways, let's continue. So if I go and I put it to two feet, you're going to see it gets even bigger. So that's a way you can change the paper text height of your text. So I'm just going to change it back to six inches so that it's normal and within, within um, what I want it to be. Uh, I'm just going to move it to the side and I'm going to show you how this can be adjusted with your scale. So if you go here and let's say I change it to two feet. So I go, I change it to two feet. It's now that big. If I go and change my scale now to 1 to 2500, it's going to get even bigger. Um, you know, I've got all my stuff down here, ignore that. Um, but that's something to keep in mind is your text height is separate from your annotative scale height. So the annotative scale just scales it relative to what your, what your scale is. Um, but the text height is completely separate and can be adjusted separately from your annotative scale. So if I, again, if I click on if I click on my um, new property line proposal text and I go down to paper text height and let's say I want it smaller. So I originally had it at six inches, but, but you know, let's say, I, well, you know what? It's a little too big still. So what I can do is if I want to cut it in half, go to three inches and then, okay, that looks a little better. And you can just, you can shrink it from there. You can make it smaller and you can even, um, you know, make it, <laughs> make it pretty small. So there we have it. So it's right there, but you'll notice too, I'm at 1 to 2500. If I go back to 1 to 1000, it's going to shrink even more now. Because again, it, the paper text height is separate from the annotative scale. So I'm just going to, again, go back, leave it to 6. And that, that should be it. Now, why am I showing you this property line proposal? So I'm going to kind of show you how to do this with um, dimensions. It's the exact same principle, it's the exact same way. And I'm also going to show you how dimensions will scale relative to what you're scaling. So um, let's assume I want to scale this. So I, I want to make this a little bigger. I need to double the size of my drawing because I drew it too small. What am I going to do? Okay. First thing you do, highlight everything you want to scale. Uh, it goes back to the scaling video. If you haven't checked that out already, go and watch the scaling video. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of this. So just type in scale, press enter. Select your base point of where you want to scale from. And again, it, it's relative to, the scale is relative to what you want. So, you know, if I do one inch, it's one to one ratio. It's exactly what I had it before. If I do two inches, it's going to be twice as large. So I'm going to go to two inches and I'm just going to scale it up. So we got two inches. So as you can see here, my original number, I'm not clicking yet because I'm showing you what this is. The original number I have for the height of my specific um, line on my drawing is 34,609.62. If you double that, it becomes 69,219.24. I have double checked this, unless my math is really bad. Um, that is the correct number for doubling your scale. So again, I'm going to click and there we have it. So my, my dimension has, my dimension number has increased 
my text has also the text size has increased but you're also going to notice that the size of my uh, annotative text for my dimension has not increased in size so that's something that has to be adjusted and changed when you're doing things um, so you can just go in here if you just click on your dimension um, you know scroll down to where the text height or whatever is let's just take a look here let's see text height is two and a half inches I can go here I can just change it let's say I want it to be four it's a little bigger now and that's how you would change that so keep that in mind uh, again feel free to pause the video save it come back whenever you need to and, and you know hopefully this really helps you so you know what I actually want it to be the same size as my text I'll actually make it six inches so there we go and you'll see that I've scaled the drawing I've doubled the size of the drawing so what happened there in the scale just a quick rundown is I've doubled the size of the drawing I've doubled the size of my text and I've and I've uh, I've not really doubled I've all, about tripled just under tripled the size of the text for my dimension because the dimension size scale will not change unless you change the annotate or change the scale down here so if I go to 1 to 24 it gets bigger or 1 to 25 it gets bigger if I leave it at 1 to 1000 it will not change um, the only reason the text changed is because I scaled the text along with the drawing so that's something to keep in mind again you can do that separately you can shrink it you know let's say I want this to be smaller uh, I go here paper text tights at it's at a foot now because you can see I doubled the size of everything so the text also doubled in size because I originally had it at six inches it's now at 12 so that is that's pretty much it for this lesson so we're gonna go here make it six inches again and you're gonna see you can you can see that it's back to where I want it um, so that's how you deal with annotating and you deal with scales and text and property lines and stuff at a larger scale um, the principle is similar is similar at a smaller scale it, it works the exact same way except you go backwards so I'll just give you a quick quick example because I want to get back to what I was doing before and you're gonna see well if you're drawing <laughs> again this is another issue if your annotative scale or your scale is messed up and you're getting this you've drawn something and your, your numbers are way off go check your scale it's at one to a thousand what the heck is going on here so go here click one to two it's gonna go back to how I had it before and everything adds up perfectly and it looks good um, so let's say I want you know these if I want these um, dimensions here you're gonna see it's, it's getting really big again um, I think that's just because I saved it and it was the same issue we were having before it doesn't matter so if you come here if I want them to be smaller you know or sorry slightly bigger I go one to four if I want it smaller I can go one to one and, and that's how you adjust it for smaller things it's it's not too difficult it's the same principle um, again I'm leaving it at one to two and and that should be everything so um, I think I covered everything in the comment I believe I don't know really if I did but I hope this helps you regardless um, again if you guys need more help please let us know we'll, we'll try our best to get videos out um, or if you need just personalized help you know we'll do our best to help you out um, so again um, thanks for tuning in to this special release uh, it's the second video this week and we thank you for you know supporting us and helping us and we hope that you you know share our videos get out there and you know make sure you spread the word of us and hopefully we were we can we help you and we can help your friends and your family and whoever else so uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one